Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, and uh, certainly let's make it a great night and a great week. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself and it will take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up, uh, up 77, NASDAQ is up 90, S&P is up 12 and a half, gold contract up 12 and a half bucks, trading at 17.76 an ounce. We have silver up 30, 35 cents, $22.55 an ounce, light sweet crude up 27 cents, $70.56 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10-year note down two ticks, trading 133.06. 30-year off five at 163.23 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 78 ticks, trading 93.198. Euro 117, yen 109.21 in the British pound at 136 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, folks, is that you get a very weak market, man. I mean, if, you know, most times, folks, you're going to get a little more bounce than this. And we'll see if that's what we get. Um, you know, right now, you, you, you're up a buck 27 inside the spies. You get 69 million. We go downtown yesterday with uh, 164 million. The biggest deal that we have out here, you know, when you look at markets, is that we have a decisive break of the trend line going back six months. That's what you have. You broke it with volume, it wide price spread, accelerated volume. You know, uh, bottom line is that you can get a bounce out of this. I suspect you're gonna get some kind of a bounce out of it. We're gonna get a choppy market, uh, but my take is that we're going to the bottom of this consolidation and inside of the uh, spies, it's quite a problem actually. I mean, it's like, you know what the thing is wild actually? The you know, when I brought this up in a six month today, it's like, okay, man, uh, you know, I'm using, I'm, I'm not going to bring it down to the end, but okay, here, I'll stop, I'll slow down, folks. Okay, March 25th of this year, that's where this trend line starts from. Well, let me actually put it back a year and see if it's actually longer than that. This would be really strange if it's a break. Oh, my God. Wow, you can make the case. Ooh, this is scary. Okay, let me do this. This is not cool. I don't even want to think. Oh, man. Okay, so I don't even want to bring this one up. This is sick. Okay, so you can actually make the case that you broke the trend line going all the way back to uh, November of 2020. You know, my take volume-wise, though, when you get a break, is that you're going to go to the high volume low. And the high volume low, I believe, was May 17th. Yeah, May, May 12th. That's, that's where I think this baby's going. And that is, we're still in the 400s there, 404. That's how this baby's set up in the SPY. If we go take a look at the uh, NDX 100, uh, the three Qs, what you have with the three Qs is this. You're up a buck 68, and these babies here, it's like that high volume low is sticking out like a sore thumb at 316. You know, now if you were just listening to Dave's show, okay, he was talking about the aspect that uh, if you're a bull, it's much better that you test the lows right now, and it is. And what that's all about, folks, is that you hear me talking about it many times about building cause. What happens is this. In markets, right, so let, let's just picture, if you, let's picture you're, we're all bulls right now first. If you're all bulls right now, the best thing you want to see, man, is that you want to see this go right back down to the lows, test the lows, and not have enough volume, and reject lower price. That is saying that, okay, the selling is over. There's nothing else below it. It's going to build cause to go higher. When you don't come down right away and you start messing around, if we, if we mess around bouncing and going sideways for two to two and a half weeks, it's a monster problem. That is the building cause. That is the working out of the marketplace to build up enough energy to basically go into lower price because that's what we have right now. Now the market does the exact same on the top side also, okay? Because when you go on the top side, the bottom line is that you can go high, 
you know, you, you back down, you mess around, you go sideways. That's what consolidations are about. Consolidation is really a building cause. Um, so that's going to be, that's always a huge heads up when you get downdrafts like this. It's like, okay, man, how far can it bounce? Is it a bounce, number one? And the bottom line is that are you building cause for lower price? You know, so we'll see where the whole thing is going to shake out. But my take is that it's the beginning of the correction. It came down hard. It came down fast. You know, and most times when you see that happen, that's not a, a one-time deal. Okay, that's what it comes down to. Sorry about that, folks. Turn that off. Um, you know, it's not a it's not a one-time deal. That's the real bottom line. We take a look at some of the. Uh, well, first off, let's go into the. Well, hey, let's go into Disney because Disney took a hit intraday. Now, the thing that's in interesting about this is that the reason it took a hit intraday is that he, the CEO is doing a um, conference right now at uh, Goldman Sachs, I think. Yeah, go at a Goldman event. And intraday, uh, he turned around and he talked about the aspect that he thinks that um, streaming is going to slow down. Well, yeah, I mean, I think streaming probably will slow down, but Disney gets so many subscribers, it's a total mind blower anyway. So what's going to be interesting here is to see technically how this thing is set up because it, it certainly, you know, got fucking, oh, excuse me, it, 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 it came down from, from 182, yeah, from 182 to 169, like in about a heartbeat, um, you know, didn't break the swing, okay? Uh, but if you take, if we turn around, we take a look at this and we put this on a weekly, what you're going to see on a weekly is that, you know, you have a couple high volume lows that you're going to be testing out. So on, on this week right here, as long as Disney closes about one, above 168.72, there's nothing wrong with it. It's like one of these deals that, okay, um, you get, right now you get 23 million coming into 78, but we're talking on a weekly, so you got to wait till the, the week gets done. But you get the gist of it, meaning that you pull down, this looks like it's going to be another rejection, you're coming into the strength, whereas 121 million, uh, 100, 100, yeah, 121 million shares traded. It's pretty wild all around. That's, that's the real bottom line. If we take a look at the NDX 100 and we take a look at the strength versus the weakness, uh, CGen is strength up 3.8%. You get Moderna up 3.5%, ASML up 2.4%, and you get uh, Team, uh, which is up at 2.3%. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>